and welcome to On the Food Scene with Steve. I'm here with Robert Spencer, the owner of Bob's Buns, and that's B-U-N-Z, right? That's right. And we are going to be making your uh, original potato chip cookie. What an interesting ingredient. And so far, what have we done? Uh, so far, um, you've added butter and sugar, and you cream the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Okay, then after it gets light and fluffy, you can add in your flour and you mix just until the flour is incorporated with the sugar and butter. Uh, and there's also a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh -huh. And now the fun part, that uh, ingredient, yeah. potato chips. Yeah, this is the fun part. So there's also some walnuts, which I've just crunched up. You can crunch them up in hand, or you can use a chopper or a knife and, and chop them up a little bit. And you can make it without nuts for those and folks that don't yeah, want nuts or other it without nuts. It's a very adoptable recipe if you don't want to use uh, Vanilla flavor, you could use almond extract. You sure. Make it taste however. Great. Uh, there's no salt in it because the, the salt chips. is in the potato chips. So you're going to add one cup of. I'm going to uh, add one cup of potato chips, but you can use almost as many potato chips as you want. Okay. Uh, I've got to see this. Yeah. So what I do is I put the potato chips in whole because I want the mixer. So that's like one handful. That's one handful. I want the mixer to crunch up the potato chips. Okay. So two handfuls. I was going to say, how do you measure potatoes yeah. once you crush them? So about three handfuls. Three handfuls to do it. And these are the uh, rich potato chips. Yeah, these are the Ruffles uh, rich potato chips. And you can use whatever brand you like. I haven't tried a kettle uh, potato chips. To me, they're kind of like a bit too crunchy. Sure. But <laughs> they're a bit too crunchy. But Ruffles potato chips, I mean, kind of potato chips. Oh, right. right. Favorite. So now the machine's going to go back on. And yeah, so we're going to turn the machine on to low. And mix it the rest of the way. And you don't really want to over mix it. You still want that texture. You still want the texture. Okay, and here you go. This is what the finished product should look like. And then I know that you said that you actually uh, press them out by hand so they have sort of that potato chip look to them, the cookies, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have a scoop over here. So that's like a um, medium so, sized ice cream scoop. Ice cream right? scoop, good. Yeah. So what I usually do is. Get an ice cream scoop. And then you uh, press them out with your hands. And I press uh, them out with my hands. Usually I wear a pair of gloves. Okay. <laughs> Usually I wear a pair of gloves. And what I do is get some flour. And guys, wear your gloves. Okay. <laughs> so that just, doesn't stick to your hands. So that doesn't stick to your hands. And the idea of this is to have it look like it's a potato chip. Uh -huh. It's got some of its own so little, it ridges, little in there. ridges and textures, textures, and it's not a conform shape. It looks like a potato now, chip. Now these will become like bacon. six um, inches in diameter? Yeah. Well, this is actually a smaller scoop than I actually use. I use a size 16 scoop. Okay. <clears throat> to make uh, this, that's the finished product. And that is the finished product. And you product. put some, uh, looks like, confectionary sugar on and top? Yeah, some little confectionary sugar on top. And how long do you bake them for? They bake for about 15, 12 to 15 minutes. And at what and temperature? Well, for a con convection oven um, at 325, for a convention oven at 350. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to taste this one right now. Mmm. Yeah, they're really good. My the, favorite. The saltiness in there is great. Wow. And the other thing I want to mention is you're also known for these huge, huge cinnamon buns. Yeah. yeah and yes. those are unbelievably <laughs> delicious as well. Thank you. And I want to thank you so much for sharing this very simple but unique recipe. And uh, if you're ever down in Isla Mirada, Florida, you've got to come to see Bob and Bob Buns. On the food scene with Steve, thank you. You're welcome.